Yo, yeah, well, it's Tuesday afternoon and the wind is saying six miles per hour, getting up to 13 miles per hour at midnight. But because it's from the north, it always seems a lot more pokey. Let's go have a look. So the pigeon battery is there. That's 12 volts worth. Well, now it's actually 18 volts. I was going to say that they, they seem to be wanting to settle around 10. So I don't know if they've had enough, but... Like I say, the wind at the moment is saying six miles per hour, but because it's from the north blowing from like behind me, and normally it's facing the other way, and so there's not anything to impede the wind. That is about the optimal direction, not so much that. When it turns now, that's kind of the optimal wind direction. So it was pottering on 13 and then it shot up to 18 because the uh, turbine started sticking out a lot of juice. Here you go. Well, I'm going to change it over to 24 volt. Uh, give me a minute. It didn't seem to be running very well like this when it had a little spurt earlier, but now you can see the turbine is running a lot faster because it's not being restrained by the 12 volts. If the wind dies, you may see the power go down quite quickly. That's 40 watts, 20 watts, 90 watts, 180 watts, 200 watts. So yeah, maybe it is okay. It just it needs it really needs a gust to get going. But bear in mind, it's kind of having to work against that lower load because those batteries will start dropping as soon as the wind stops. Seventy watts, fifty, twenty, two, zero, forty, hundred, hundred and eighty five, two hundred. Back down to a hundred. Hundred and forty, hundred and twenty, ninety, fifty, forty, thirty, eighty, hundred and seventy, two hundred and seventy. 140, 120, 90, 50, 40, 30, 80, 170, 270. There you go, that's a bit more like it. That's what we want to be seeing. 30 volts. Not as many watts as I'd like to see at that voltage. But it's all about the wind speed, my friends. That is what it's all about. I'm just going to get this inverter connected and then plug something in. Okay, so I've just stuck these two LED lights on. I'm going to leave them facing the other way. You'll see the battery's gone down to 21 already. And that's only using about 70 watts that light. We'll see if we get any more juice. Because of the gearing system, when that wind catches it, the, uh, well, at any speed, the blades, uh, due to the gearing system, if the blades are doing 100 RPM, the motor is doing 185. That's the beauty of it. Let's 
see if we can get over 26 again. I need to clean up that pigeon poo sometime because there are baby pigeons were birthed on there. It's hallowed ground it is. It's not looking good on the juice. This is the problem with having bad batteries, you see. If I had a decent uh, lithium ion battery, which I can't see myself getting, then any power that went in would be kept, whereas the power that's going in now is pretty much just being wasted. Although we are running that light. There's a bit more wind. But that bodes well for later. What I'll do, I'll upload this and then I'll come back. And uh, it won't make that much power, but we might get some uh, over 500 watts a few times, which is always nice to see. 150, 160, 140, 110, 120, 180, 160, 130, 120, 170, 118, 172. Goody! Hundred and fifty, a hundred, seventy six, fifty, thirty, nine, zero. Now the uh, inverter is going to cop out and make the really annoying noise. We will bear with it because though that's very annoying, it's quite interesting how this works. Once a load of juice comes back in, the lights just go back on. So if it was really windy, I can plug two 400 watt lights into here and they'll just repeatedly light up and then go out and it'll beep for 10 seconds and they'll come back on and that'll work all night long, even in a storm. So it's not nice to see it stay above 24 and run something. But it's soon straight back down. Anyway, we're going to leave it a couple of hours to get windier and then we'll be back. Stay tuned for part two. Yay!